So we're going to take our tape off. I'm going to turn my box upside down. Make sure I got uh, the right sides facing in. Now I'm going to do exactly the same as we did before. Just kind of slide this into the corner and press. Oops, that didn't go in quite straight. again. This is a little bit fussy here. There we go. That worked actually a little bit better. I'm just going to make sure that the tape is really holding in there. So now you see there's the top and the bottom boxes. The next one is how do we figure out where this one, where the other box goes, where this one goes on the other side, that when you open and close your box, they're not going to ram up on each other. What I do is I have a piece of scrap cardstock that is cut to, it doesn't matter what the length is, but it's one and one one and seven eighths of an inch wide. One and seven eighths inches wide. So you're gonna take it and tuck it into the corner on the top side of the box. Okay, so I'm gonna take it in and slide it up in here. I'm gonna hold that there in place. And I'm going to mark it. I'm going to make a couple of little marks on the inside. Um, I'm using a pen. Normally I would use a pencil. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you're not get, it's not going to show after you're finished. Okay, so I've made two, uh, two marks right here on the inside. There we go. There I can see them. And you're going to stick it in at the top on the other side and make two more marks. And these are so that you know where to put your final tray that's going to go inside. Okay, so now we have the four marks on both sides. What you're going to do then is take the bottom, the bottom of your, your third tray is going to line up with the marks that you just made. Okay, so there we go. I haven't taken the tape off yet, but and because the marks are at the bottom, you'll never see them afterwards, right? So I'm going to take the tape off and line them up to these pencil pen marks that I just did. What I'm going to do in this case is just unravel half of the tape only so then I have a better opportunity a chance of getting my tray in straight then I only have to worry about one side sticking at a time so I'm gonna tuck this in to the corner I want to make sure I get it nice and snug in that corner. Line it up on both of my pencil marks. Press it down so it's stuck. Now it's in. And I'm just going to reach in here and pull out the other half of my tape and then continue lining it up here with the other half. And there you can and there you see now it's going to open and close nice, nicely. Okay. Next, what we're going to do now, you can see already, like the box doesn't want to stay closed. Okay, we, I have a solution for this. I'm going to take a little piece of uh, just scrap, leftover scrap, and cut a piece off 
This is a little trick to help it stay closed. Um, depending on the grain, uh, how you cut your paper is going to determine whether your box uh, stays closed by itself or not. Um, I cut mine uh, obviously against the grain, so it doesn't want to stay closed. So I'm going to take this piece and on the half where there is no bottom tray, I'm going to I'm going to just kind of fasten that in there with a piece of the piece of this here tape. Okay. I'm going to pick that off. I'm going to stick this in here just underneath. And then the objective here, what I want it to be able to do is based on where my adhesive was. Now I remember before I put this box in, I had pre-taped it and it seemed, if I recall correctly, it, my tape wasn't right on the edge. It was in a little bit further, maybe three-eighths of an inch. So I want this edge to, to butt up with that. So it gets like clear, so you see like it only closes that much. So I have to trim it. I'm going to give it a test here now to see. Oh, getting close. I'm going to trim off probably another oh eighth of an inch or so, quarter inch. And I'm just going to keep slowly trimming until it it closes and it stays closed. And the reason it's staying closed is that this edge is just barely touching the double-sided tape on the other side, and it's just enough to hold the box closed nicely. Okay, for the most part. Now let's do the embellishments, and this is the easy part. The hard part is done. For the embellishments, the panels, okay, we're going to do these, these sides and tops, okay? So you see all of these layers. So the first one, this is, this is your bottommost layer, and it is three inches by three inches. The next layer is one eighth of an inch smaller, so it is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. <coughs> Excuse me, and then the final layer is again another eighth of an inch smaller, so that's two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And we're going to fasten all of these together. So I'll put a little bit of glue on these. Just center that up nicely in here. enough of these that it becomes a pretty quick project. Um, I can make them in about a half hour, 45 minutes now. Uh, that's assuming I don't have any coloring to do, but if it's just, you know, straight cutting and <coughs> assembly and everything, it takes about a half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, so now we have three of these, okay? On two of them, you want to go and put pop dots. On, on the back, four pop dots, and peel those off and stick them onto the side here like this. Well, actually, no, wait. I forgot these. These are, I cut uh, from the Nestability, Nestability dies, the scallop is the uh, classic scallop circle small and it's the third largest. It's the third largest scallop. Okay. And the circle, the white is the standard circle small. And again, the third largest. Right. So I cut those on the cuddle bug and I, I um, uh, embossed them as well. I put a simple pearl embellishment in the center. Right, simple uncolored image. So you have three of those. <clears throat> I'm 
fastened them all together, layered them up. Nice. Add, uh, set this one aside, the third one. So we have one of these and one of these that we're just going to set aside for now. And we're going to focus on these ones here so that I've pre-made. I'm going to take peel peel these off. And this scallop is three inches by three inches. This here layer is three inches by three inches and the box is three inches is three inches by three inches. So these, this scallop is really easy to get on centered. So like if you hold it both sides, it's the, you can see like, oh, there we go. They're the same width. So what I do is just kind of go like this. And if I can feel it on my fingers, on every finger, about the same kind of pressure, I know I've got it centered pretty good. And I just kind of drop that into place. I'm going to repeat with the other one. And peel this off. There we go. Put this one up on top too. And because I used uh, just a simple snowflake image, there's no top, there's no bottom, I don't have to pay attention to whether it's right side up and anything else. Next, then go on and peel off the backing from these. This one being stubborn, it doesn't want to come off. Come on. There we go. And we're going to fasten that onto the side of the box here. Again, same thing with your fingers. You can feel, oopsie, I almost, now I noticed that I had writing my, my, um, my pattern paper has writing on it. So I almost put it on sideways. So you want to kind of pay attention to that as well. So line these up here. Make sure my writing is the right side up. Turn it around and attach that on top of here. Okay, right, so almost done. Does that look pretty already? Can you imagine? What are you going to fill it up with? Hmm. Okay, now there's still one left. This one here, the final one, we need it to be in two pieces so that it doesn't interfere with the performance of the opening and closing of the box. So, because I have um, writing on my pattern paper, I want to make sure that I'm going to do this correctly. Because we want to cut from corner to corner. We cut this in half 